is the sun and mercury right and trumps jupiter once again this is a great placement for real estate and property assets right we got to re-emphasize that because that will come up again but the cardinal signs they're always going to be into status and we notice biden and trump have jupiter in cardinal sign trump's venus and saturn as you may notice are also in cardinal signs these people are usually the most initiatory of all the placements and will always definitely pop something off. They know how to incite and That's excite people and places. In most presiding positions, people with cardinal signs introduce new initiatives for sure. And y'all will see this again. Now this year, it's really looking solid for both of these candidates and it's somewhat similar to what the alignment was in 2016. It's almost dang near the same alignment to a degree, and it favors both of these guys mutually. For the rest of the year, Trump will get some solid support from the masses because it seems as if he may be oriented to their perspective. And the election this year happens about 58 hours after a new moon. That's and this can saying. bring in some interesting communication dynamics right before the election that may benefit Biden. And it even becomes clearer that Biden and Trump, they're a part of the same generation and they will both have their Uranus returns around in the same years because they both have Uranus and Gemini. And look, Uranus and Gemini, in the case of elders, they're them having their first beautiful Uranus return. This gives elders some great futuristic insight around that Uranus return, right? And that's amazing. Shout out to the elders, okay? And when it comes to astrology, y'all gotta let y'all know, we take our personal bias out of it, okay? Because 